<laughs> I would also, as I'm thinking about the church today, in a video that I just did concerning the pastor and the shepherd teacher, I would also like to speak of pastors that are working in small churches that are very, very, uh, that could be very discouraging to some, especially when there is that comparison with the mega churches or with larger churches. And I want to encourage pastors in rural communities where many of the families have left to get jobs in urban areas to think of the approach as what I would like to call kingdom ministry. By that I mean not thinking that we're going to fill the pews with all kinds of people, but we're going to build in to the lives of the people that the Lord has entrusted us with. And we're going to encourage each of them to find their ministry wherever they are or wherever they go. For example, uh, some people may be ministering to their grandchildren or to their neighbors or in their workplace, and they're carrying out the Great Commission. I think the main thing is to nurture each individual, a person, in the small church environment and have the kingdom perspective that we're not looking at trying to make it grow numerically. If it does, praise the Lord. However, it may not. But the success is not in the numbers. The success is in maturity of people growing in Christ and wanting to get closer to him and then reaching out and making disciples wherever they are. Again, whether it's their next door neighbor or their employment or their grandchildren. So it may not be that they're coming into that local building, but the work of the church is expanding. And I just wanted to leave somewhat of an addendum of what I put up concerning the biblical teaching of a pastor uh, teacher and encourage those who are in small churches to keep on keeping on a training and teaching and studying the word and passing it on so that they in turn can carry on in growing in Christ and reaching the people in their orbit in their can I say acquaintances and to me that is success that's being faithful to what the Lord has called pastors to do. And so often I think small pass or small church pastors become discouraged because there's often a comparison with uh, larger churches. But let me encourage you, be encouraged and keep on keeping on. I used to tell my Hebrew students, shamor, shamor, keep on keeping on. And think of kingdom ministry rather than necessarily growing in huge numbers in, a, in the building, but spreading out so that people can go wherever they go and carry on the work of the body of Christ and the church.